Well, hello there. Welcome back to the Closet Historian. Uh, we are up here in my, my bedroom today. Uh, it feels odd to have the camera equipment in your bedroom, but I, I have done this, of course, before for that uh, last closet clear out video that I put up in January. So I have, I did do a little bit of a closet clear out, closet tour ish kind of video back in January. I will put a card up to that here. I think it was January, December or January, sometime around there, um, where I cleaned a few things out of my fall winter wardrobe. I do change my closet out seasonally, and I just switched everything uh, in here into my spring and summer wardrobe. And I want to go through that with you guys and pick out a few things that I think are time to retire, time to donate, pass on in some way. Um, so, because I have all those new things from thrifting to get in there, right? I have to make room. So I thought I would go through things with you guys since uh, people seem to like that last video. So here we are today. Uh, it's a little bit more of a casual video, but I've been writing all morning. I've been really working on this book that I've been writing a lot instead of getting my other work done. So, so, so here we are, you know, it's a, it's a little bit more casual, but uh, please bear with me, you know, you know, please. All right, shall we start with skirts? Let's. Here are all my skirts that I keep in my wardrobe for spring and summer. So let's just go through these real quick. I don't know if I'll be getting rid of any of them. Let's see. Uh, this one, you guys actually might remember because I did pick this one up thrifting last year. So it was in one of my thrift hauls. It's just a like 1980s safari style skirt, which I of course am all about that because I love 80s does vintage and I love safari things. This one actually is Land's End, but I really like the skirt. I'm excited to wear it this summer. This one's just a red twill slightly a-line skirt that I wear with 30 stuff sometimes that I made. This one is a linen rayon blend sort of fluted skirt that I wear both in a 50s way and a 30s way depending on how I'm feeling and what decade I'm going for. This is just a pencil skirt in a like bottom weight twill from Joann's. This is one of the first pencil skirt I always talk about when people ask me like what were the first items that you added to your like vintage style wardrobe? Like what how did you ease into vintage or things like that? Um, and I always say that I made two pencil skirts like my first like vintage items that I started wearing vintage style. This was one of them. This is sort of a soft navy blue twill pencil skirt, but I really actually don't like this fabric that much. So, and I just never wear this anymore. So it might be time to donate it because I, I have another pencil skirt that I wear instead. So we might just, it might be time to donate that one. This next one is really quite gorgeous. I will put a picture of me wearing this one in Mexico up as well. Um, this is a Mexican, like hand painted Mexican tourist skirt i forget i don't know if they have like an official name but they were something that was like available for tourists to buy in the past and probably still now in some places um but this one is just happens to be from mexico or at least the person selling it to me said so and it's got all this like gold painted gold and other metallic colored painted and it's got like the uh, like herons or like egrets and like donkeys or i think they're donkeys now that i look at it i think at once upon a time i thought they were llamas but they seem to be donkeys of some kind but just a gorgeous gorgeous skirt for summer i really want to make a gold blouse to wear with this sometime because i do not have a gold top to wear with this because of course black works but i think gold would be really great for evening you know what i mean next up we have a possibly i think i mean i bought this vintage but i think it's probably a homemade vintage it just seems kind of homemade to me it's not lined or anything this is just another Circle skirt in cotton. This is just a fun summery print with some like strawberries and raspberries on it. Another skirt I just love wearing in summertime. I'll put a picture of me in this one as well. Then we have my black circle skirt. We all know, we all know how I love a circle skirt. We have all my pleated skirts. These are all from like the 70s or 80s. Um, these ones here, all of these I just picked up on Etsy. You can get these for pretty inexpensive on Etsy, but I, uh, pleated skirts were such a thing for many, many different eras and different decades. So I think they're a good investment, especially because like ones like this, this one I think cost me $20 and they had a lot of different colors available. I'll actually link to this Etsy shop who did these pleated skirts in or has these pleated skirts in the description because they have a lot of colors left and they seem to have quite a lot of stock of them. So if you guys are in the market for one, maybe you can pick one up from them as well. So I'll just put these pleated ones back. This is a super feminine skirt that I do not wear enough. I do not wear it enough. So do I want to keep it? because it's just so pink. I mean, I think anyone who objectively likes anything feminine would look at this and think, wow, that's really pretty. It's just hard for me to pair things with it because I don't really wear pastels up here, like near my face. So I don't have a lot to wear with this. What what, what do you guys think I should wear with this? Here we go, I'll ask, I'll ask you guys. What do you think I should pair with this? Hmm, thoughts in the comments below because I don't want to get rid of it. It's really pretty. Here's a navy blue A-line twill skirt um, from a really great fabric. Really nice, I think it's an organic cotton twill from Mood Fabrics. And I actually will link to this fabric in the description below as well because I really love this twill. I've made a couple of things out of it. 
I think it's a really great fabric as not too expensive as well. So I'll link this fabric in the below, uh, description below for some of you seamstresses. And then we have this sort of like a line plus like almost, almost a half circle skirt. That is just a nice, you know, khaki cotton twill. Again, I really like cotton twill for summer apparel pretty much just I think it's a very good like safari ready fabric so this is just another kind of safari safari ready skirt that I have in here that I made a while back so we didn't do very well there uh, I only removed one <laughs> skirt from that entire stack so we're doing great all right next up I have like my summer jackets to show you guys um they're kind of like short sleeve jackets and boleros it's kind of what this is and I don't think I'll be getting rid of any of these but I'll just show them to you real fast um this one's just a little princess line raglan sleeve little jacket in brown and green this is a good project if you have leftover fabric scraps so like for example this green fabric here matches that green skirt i just showed you this brown fabric matches the brown pencil skirt that was from earlier um, that i have in my closet so this will match both the green and the brown skirts so that gives me much more versatility and would be good for like packing on a vacation if i packed both skirts and just this jacket i could mix and match um so it's kind of good to have things like that in your wardrobe and they take up good like it's a good use of fabric scraps too when you have bits left over to do like little color blocking things like that which is very accurate for the 30s and 40s as well um next i have just a little three-quarter sleeve black bolero i find it hard to make bolero jackets just because i think of my like bust measurement um just because i have a larger bust i feel like they aren't the most flattering on me but i do like them so i kind of decided i don't care this one is another color block jacket again this was just something i had fabrics left over from making a black skirt a brown and the two different brown colored pencil skirts this actually has two different color browns here i don't know if you can tell i will put again a picture of me wearing this jacket in so you can see what i mean but this is another one where i just had like bits of fabric left over and i thought what can i make with this that will match lots of my skirts already so that's how that one came to be and then i have this blue one which i will put a picture of the reason i made this blue jacket basically was this image i saw i will put here probably of um, a 1940s image of a girl wearing this just really cute outfit and I was like I want that jacket so this was me trying to make something similar to that I have this little navy blue jacket with big white buttons on it um, and again I will put a picture of me wearing this in here but yeah none of those are going anywhere um, they're staying with me for anyone wondering how I um, store my silk scarves they're on one of these tie hangers and it's just like a, a huge monstrous mess really uh so if you think i'm organized i'm not um basically okay next blouses and shirts basically this one you may recognize it matches that skirt i showed you earlier so this one of course matches this pencil skirt so i can wear them together and it will look like a dress or i can just wear this with a black pencil skirt or a black circle skirt or this with a black you know shirt or top or blue or whatever color really this one i think we talked about in my last clear out same with this and all of these so we'll keep all of these this on the other hand hmm this is uh from charming charlie which is a really tacky kind of store a uh, modern store i mean i found a lot of things in charming charlie's over the years that i want and i like don't get me wrong um but it's just fast fashion and not something I would buy anymore. Like I don't buy fast fashion or fashion at regular stores anymore. Um, I only really thrift, sew, or try and buy from a conscious brands like Everlane or places like that. So I wouldn't buy something like this again. It doesn't necessarily mean I need to get rid of it, but it's just such a modern top, especially with this cotton jersey back to it. And it's cute, but I just don't, I don't see myself wearing it anymore. So it's going here. This one is another banana republic shirt this one like super modern shirt right it's like high low it's like completely sheer it doesn't have a sleeve but what i decided to do when this came into banana is i thought what if i wear it backwards like this is actually the back of the shirt is the higher neck and so i wear this with a black cami underneath and i wear it with the higher side in the front and i think it looks really nice with skirts in the summertime um of course i just took all the rest of this in because like high low wide hem nonsense isn't very vintage but again I make it work you guys you got to make it work here is another banana republic hanger on from back when i worked there um this is a silk blouse i do not wear sleeveless things i do not like sleeveless things but i will pair this with like a bolero or a jacket where you can't tell that it's sleeveless and it's of course this perfect safari ready color so we'll hang on to that even though it doesn't have sleeves so disappointing so disappointing so dresses we have this hanger has like a bunch 
of like 1920s dresses hanging on it. I will put a picture of me in this like first one. Um, it's, these are, I really liked wearing them at the time. I haven't, I don't wear them as much, much anymore. They just have like a little handkerchief hem. They're like polyester chiffon, not the most accurate, but they are quite fun. Um, so I'll put a picture of me wearing this one here. And then I have this like floral one as well. And then this one's got feathers printed on it, like multicolored rainbow feathers. But, um, these guys I don't wear very much, but I'm going to hang on to them because I do like them. It's just, I don't wear them very often because polyester in the summer is not comfortable, obviously. And then there's this one. This is one of those ones where I can't decide if I want to keep it or not. This is a 1950s or 60s lace like sheath dress. And it's kind of a little bit bridesmaid or mother of the bride e, just partially because it's this sage color. But this lace is very nice. I just haven't figured out other ways to style this yet. Um, it's just kind of a little bit harder to style because it's a little bit more formal, I guess. Um, so I haven't figured out a way to make this look less bridesmaidsy or less mother of the bride ish. So something to work on. I'm not quite ready to give up on it yet. So as with everything today, it's staying. This is just a black, um, cotton sateen fifties dress with three quarter sleeves. Very classic. Um, gotta like, this is like one of my like must haves. In my essentials video, I talked about my 1940s little black dress. This is like my 1950s little black dress. And if you like all eras, I think it's good to have a little black dress from each of the eras that you like. Um, because little black dresses are so useful. So obviously keeping that one. This one is just a simple little dress I made from some rayon uh, shelly that I got at Joann's. Um, just a simple little gathered skirt on here. I didn't have very much of this fabric. I would have done the neckline, I think a little bit differently where I to do it again, but I made this quite quickly just to have something new to wear. And uh, it's really nice and lightweight for summertime. So that's always good. And finally, we've gotten to a dress that I don't think I'm gonna keep. Um, it's quite cute and I wore it for a couple of years, but I think the fabric has just reached the end of its time. Uh, this is just a little like Japanese print inspired fabric that I got at Joann's. This is quilting cotton, which is the reason I think it's time to, well, one of the reasons I think it's time to retire this dress, just because after you wash quilting cotton a few times, like in the washing machine, it just gets this sort of faded quilt effect sort of to the surface of it. It just doesn't look crisp and nice anymore. It, what pushes me over the edge of not keeping this anymore isn't really the fabric though, it's the sleeve. Like I hate this style of sleeve, this little cap sleeve. It's just such a no and it's not flattering on me at all and I don't really like it. So I think it's time that this one ends up at the thrift store. You have to give to the thrift store if you want to get from the thrift store, you know? You have to give back into the, the ether of thrifting for it to give to you maybe, right? I don't know, we're gonna go with it. This dress, whew, I love this dress. This is such a cute, and it has that same sleeve. So disgusting. You can tell that year I was just using this sleeve pattern for some God knows why reason. Um, really a shame. And like, this dress is also a little bit too small for me. I shouldn't keep it, but I just love this print. I love it. I love it. I will put a picture of me wearing this. I still don't think the sleeve is flattering, just like I said about this one. I think it's terrible. But like this one, I love the rest of it so much that I might just figure out a way to like put black sleeves on here because like I just love this fabric. I love this dress. It's definitely staying, but it might need a modifier. It might need new sleeves. If you guys would like to see me doing projects like that where I like fix something up, let me know. Um, maybe I'll film it for you. This one is like the style of dress that I should have done for this fabric. <laughs> this is actually very, very similar fabric and I bought them at the same discount place. I think years apart, but this one just has a nice sleeve. It's a very 40s looking dress gathering up here with a A-line kind of skirt. Really good summer 1940s dress. It'd be really good like date night dress. So if anyone, if any uh, you ladies out there want to take me on a date, um, I won't go because no one wants to date a girl who lives with their parents at 27. But if I did go on a date, I might wear this dress. Oh, let's, let's move on. Let's move on. Um, uh, we have this dress, which actually I think I'm going to be doing a video soon here showing you how I style this dress in multiple ways for summertime because I just think this is a like super good, if, again, if I were to add another essential to my essentials list, a white eyelet dress for summertime, maybe I'll do like a summer vintage style summer essentials. Ooh, that's a good idea. Would you guys like that? Let me know in the comments below if you would like a seasonal essentials video, kind of like the one I did my last essentials video, but only based on the season because this would definitely be on my summer essentials list, a white eyelet dress. Hmm, that's a pretty good idea. All right, tell me in the comments below, do you guys want a summer essentials list video? Let me know. This one is a, just a cotton summer dress, basically, very tropical 
very fun. The only problem with this is that this dress and another one I made, they have like a full circle skirt, but the lining is not a full circle skirt, so I can't wear petticoats with it, which is just a disappointment, obviously. Um, so that was a mistake in that I are learning, a learning opportunity <laughs> from making these dresses is that I, for some reason, thought, oh, I'll just use less lining fabric because it doesn't have to be as full as the rest of the skirt. And like, sure, mate, but then you can't wear a petticoat with it, and what the heck? Like, again, versatility, you want to be able to wear things without and with a petticoat, so, you know. Look, we, we, we cut out one dress. One, one dress. Yes. We have more dresses, don't, don't worry. There, there are more. There are even more. Whew. Okay. More dresses here. Again, I don't know if we'll end up getting, eliminating any of these ones, but... We'll try. This is the other cotton 50s dress I was talking about where I can't wear the petticoats underneath them. I guess I could replace the lining in these, but god, am I too lazy to do that. But this again with like a my black wicker straw handbag or something in the summertime. Perfect. Again, we're doing terribly cutting anything out of this because I just love all my dresses, so <laughs> terrible. Uh, but this is just an like ecru kind of dark ivory and black striped dress that I made with some fabric again from moodfabrics.com and I just love this dress. It's very very fun. Who are we kidding? It's not the best on camera just because stripes aren't the best on camera, but super fun. This one I made last year. Again, something you can wear a petticoat with because it's got this big skirt. I'm really excited to wear this one with red accessories this year because I didn't last year. And of course it's ripe for, for having red accessories with it. Two more dresses to talk about here. Now that I had to change the battery, I was rambling so much. Uh, this one is a Peggy Carter inspired, inspired dress with the red trim, of course, rather patriotic here, uh, this one is done in a cotton sateen, whereas her dresses seems to be a silk or a rayon, something much more flowy. This is much more structured because of that thicker cotton, but I just really quite liked Agent Carter when that show came out. Uh, there's a lot of hokey magic kind of ish stuff going on, or like pseudoscience going on in that show, but it's also Peggy Carter kicking ass. Uh, so I'm here for it, you know? I, I was a fan. I wish they had made more. I, I, was the plot great? Not always, but the fashion was, so I'm bummed. And lastly, we have this red, dark red, sateen, 1950s-ish dress. I'll put a picture of me in this dress, but really, I just have never really liked how this looked on me. And you know what? I think I have enough dresses, not that I won't make more, that I don't need to keep this one. It's really quite nice. In many ways, I just don't really, I've never really liked the way it looks on me. Something about this, this red sateen is a little bit shinier than some of the other ones I use. It just kind of shows every uh, not smooth bit of me. So I think that one will be retired. Plus we need to retire some more stuff because this is the worst clear out <laughs> of all time. So let's just uh, close this. We didn't do the best of work here today in the closet now, did we? Uh, thank you guys for coming to my clear out video where I got rid of two dresses, one skirt, one modern top, and maybe this blouse, unless you guys say that this green works for me, in which case I will keep this blouse. Unless, or if you guys know how to dye silk, uh, let me know uh, because this is a really nice blouse and it fits me fine. It's just I don't know about this color on me. So I've cleared out like six items total. Terrible, terrible clear out. But you know, everything, everything sparks too much joy to get rid of it. So hopefully you guys like this peek into my spring and summer wardrobe. Nonetheless, even though I've done a abysmal job of clearing anything out, thank you guys for tuning in today and I will see you here on the channel again soon. Bye. Also, I have to say, it feels very strange to put the ring light and the camera and tripod in your bedroom, right above your bed. Just making a closet clear out video. Nothing nefarious, I promise. Uh, this is actually a four poster bed. Uh, people asked about that last time I did a closet clear out video because I kept like hanging things. Uh, but actually I have a four poster bed, so I do basically have hanging racks all over my room. There's a little cat on this bed here and it's very cute. I'm just saying.